Hello, everybody, and welcome to Faith on Friday. What do you think of when I say the word bullying? Do you think of the kid being pushed down the stairs, somebody being talked about, or having things thrown at them in a classroom? Do you ever think about bullying on the job? There's that that goes on as well. What about being bullied in your own home? You know, you think of being bullied, and what were you taught about bullying? The best way to stop a bully is to what? Exactly, stand up to them. Here's a novel idea. Have you ever thought that you were your own bully? Think about it. You say ugly things to yourself. You push yourself around. You tell yourself that you're not welcome in certain places. Isn't that what a bully does? So if you have to stand up to a bully to stop a bully, are you standing up to yourself? Have you ever had to stand up to yourself? Why do we get angry when other people stand up to us? And yet and still, we can't seem to stand up to ourselves. When you see someone bullying, you want to go and help them, rescue them, protect them. Why is it then, when we bully ourselves, we don't think to protect our own self from ourselves? We don't have to be our own bully. We don't have to allow ourselves to do things to us that keep us down, make us feel bad, or keep us out of places that will make us successful. The next time your bully shows up, yourself looking in the mirror, stand up to that bully and tell the bully, no, you're not going to deal with it. You're not going to take it because you don't have to. Don't be your own bully and then don't look for other people to rescue you. You need to stand up to yourself. Oh, sure, we were all taught to stand up for ourselves, but we were never told that we were our own bully. Stand up to your bully today. You don't have to take it. You've got things to do and your bully can't stop you. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. My name is Ricky Smith, and I'll see you next Friday.